What's going on everyone? It's your boy Cotton. I actually just hit 1,000 subscribers on the channel. That's absolutely amazing. It wasn't but like a week and a half ago. I hit 500 subscribers, did a giveaway, and sent the winner their prize. So it's already time for a new giveaway. So stay tuned for that video. This video is going to be a tutorial on the flicker effect. It's an effect used in tons and tons of music videos, short films, movies. You can really apply this effect to anything to stylize something or just add a little flair to it. It's a really simple effect, but it's one that every editor should know. So let me just go ahead and show you how to do this. I'm actually going to be showing you three different variations of this effect. So, you know, just get creative with it. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to apply this effect straight to a music video. So the first thing I'm going to do is find like some, some hi-hats or some, you know, ticks in the beat to cut to. So I'm going to go do that now. So right there. So I'm just going to use my mouse to find the very beginning because by scrolling your mouse wheel you can go uh, back and forth by one frame. So I'm going to find the first tick right there. I'm going to go to my razor blade tool. I'm going to make a cut. I'm going to zoom in on my timeline. I'm going to go to the last part of the beat. So right there. I'm going to make another cut. Zoom in a little more. And now what I'm going to do is use either my scroll wheel or my mouse or my arrow keys to go back and forth and cut by one frame. One, two, three, four, all the way to the first cut. So now I'm going to delete. I'm going to go back to my pointer tool. I'm going to delete the first cut. Skip the next one. Skip the next one. So you're going to cut every other cut, and now you will have created. The basic flicker effect. See that? Alright, so that's the basic flicker effect. So now we're going to move on to the next clip and use two clips to do the effect. So it's going to be a little, a little cooler. You're going to see two clips flash on top of each other. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to find the point in the clip to where I want to make the effect. Right there. So I'm going to get my razor blade tool. I'm going to cut this right here. I'm going to delete everything before the cut because I want it to start on that first beat. I'm going to go to the last point. I'm going to get my razor blade tool again. I'm going to go to the last point of that, you know, where I want it to flicker, hi hats, ticks, whatever you want to call them in the song. I'm going to go to the last point of that. Right there, make another cut, zoom back in on my timeline. And for this, I'm actually going to delete the last part too. I only want to work on the section I'm flickering. So this is my little flicker section. Go back to the beginning or the end. It don't matter which way you cut from. Just go through with your razor blade tool and make some cuts. Every frame, one frame cuts. Get your pointer tool, and then we're going to go delete every other frame. So now, same thing, we got a cool flicker effect with a clip on top of the other clip. You see that? Pretty cool, huh? Alright, so the next flicker effect, we're going to, this is the same clip on top and bottom. The only difference is one is scaled in to 115% so it's a little bigger than the other clip. So I'm going to go to that same point where I find the flickers. Right there. I'm going to make a cut. Zoom in. Go to that last part. Oh, I didn't make a cut. there. I'm going to delete before and after it. Now I'm going to get my razor blade tool again. Make those one frame cuts. So one, two, three, four, five. Get my pointer tool. And then I'm going to cut every other clip. So now we have a flicker effect to one clip zooms in 
and then one's the same, but it's the same clip. Oh, it's just like a cool little flicker, stutter effect. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this tutorial, the basic flicker effect and three ways you can use it. If you like the content, be sure to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, drop a comment, share the video with all your friends, and I'll see you guys next time.